Tactical Rock and Roller going over the Walther P22. This is a 22 caliber Walther. Uh, great beginner's gun. Um, great gun to have all around. Uh, good 22 pistol. As you can see, it comes with uh, fiber optic front sights on there and the threaded barrel. Uh, we're going to go over basic disassembly, then reassembly of it. A um, few features to point out. Uh, it does have an ambidextrous mag release, which is a little bit different than most. People look for the buttons. There are no buttons. It's actually a part of the trigger guard. So you're just going to use your finger from either side, thumb, finger, or if you're lefty, you can use it that way as well. Just pull that down and it drops the mag. So a little bit different than most of the other weapons. Uh, predominantly polymer, does have a rail system for lasers, uh, flashlights, etc. Uh, so definitely up with the times. A um, little bit of a finger guard here at the end, not much. So we're going to go over disassembly uh, first thing. Um, as always, make sure the gun is safe. So we're gonna go over again, mag release right here. Uh, drop the mag. Once that is done, visually inspect. Uh, pull the slide back, barrel is clear. As you can see, barrel is clear. Uh, moving on from that, this gun is actually kind of tricky, kind of a pain in the butt, really. Um, there are much easier guns to clean, but we're going to go over it right now. A few things that I'll point out with the threaded barrel. Um, a lot of people have guns out there for the Walther P22, not a lot out there for the threaded barrel. One thing I will point out, once the slide is back, you'll there's the slide catch right here. So you want to pull the slide back, slide catch, holding that. I do want to point out this notch. As you can see, this notch right there that is on the uh, connection to the threaded barrel. That's what people use the tool to unscrew it with. So when you look at it, again, you're just gonna unscrew this. That's gonna reveal the, the, the screws for the cam. Like that's where your silencer, suppressor, uh, can, whatever you wanna call it, that's where that's gonna go. So to unscrew this part, people use the tool and they just crank it in. They set it in that notch and they just rack it. That can be done with any kind of good old fashioned American ingenuity. Believe me, I don't have the tool and I just did it and I will do it right now. So it's a little bit loose. That's why you can see now I can spin it. Um, other than that, I just use a little bit of needle nose pliers. Uh, if you all want to yell at me, you can. Um, I could tell you I put tape around them, but I didn't. Um, you can do that if you really care, but this is a 22. So other than that, um, that's going to be the one point that I point out where everyone looks at the gun and says, I don't know what to do next. So other than that, we're just, uh, again, after making it clear, we're going to pull that back. Keep the slide release up. Uh, can unscrew this part. Now what I've noticed is that when I do unscrew this part, the barrel seems to dislodge and come out. The whole object is to get this bushing off, which will slide right off once the spark comes out, the connector. Now one thing to note in this, sleeve is that there's a notch right here. This notch is going to be your your butt end. This is what is going to go back in and this sits at 6 o'clock so that will always rest at 6 o'clock on the weapon that is down like this. As you can see notch down that will fit back on like that. Um, there's a groove in there that keeps that in place. Keep that in mind. Basically from this point uh, we're going to pull these tabs down, as you can see these tabs right here, you just pull those tabs down and that's going to start your disassembly process. So you pull the slide all the way back and then you're just going to do lift it up and be careful because again you're going to have springs attached to it, so slow release. Okay. 
and I would save that as all, but that is not all. So you see the slide right here again, set down, guide rod, which is stainless, coated stainless steel, and then this absolutely ridiculously long recoil spring compared to the guide rod, which means you have to be MacGyver to put it back on which I, I will show as well. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, now for the barrel to be removed, it's gonna come back out. And everything sits so close, as you can see. It's very easy to damage a lot of these parts and you have to kind of ask it nicely to come out. This gun is... It's, it's painful because I, I, I like I like to shoot this gun and I would recommend it to people, but this gun is a pain in the butt to take apart. So moving on from that uh, barrel, everything is disassembled. I would clean it from this point. Um, now we're going to reassemble it. A few things to point out for reassembly uh, is first and foremost, always keep the tabs down. These tabs right here, uh, they, they have a tendency to pop up. Um, but as you can see, they will definitely need to be, be down. So if you have trouble just pulling them down, you can use your finger in the center and just Give a little force those tabs down first and foremost second tip this barrel tiny little barrel which is not easy to clean uh this notch is six is your six o'clock that's always going to sit in the bottom of the receiver and this barrel will jump out of place so we might need to use a little bit of ingenuity to keep this barrel in place as well as you can see the difference between this guide rod and the recoil spring there is a major overlap that causes problems when you push this down it tends to jump like you see so we're gonna go over a basic uh, tip that will help you assist the spring back onto the guide rod using a tool that my friend taught me and uh, we're gonna go over that right now um, so first things first we're gonna set the barrel back into the receiver again that dots your six o'clock right on forward all the way into the place now this barrel is going to jump around and going to make your life miserable um at least for me so watch so this gun is a great gun it's just difficult to take apart and put back together um they need to do something with that other than that uh, we're gonna figure it out right now so barrel forward it's gonna jump around be aware of that that notch always at six o'clock keeps it forward and in place uh, we're gonna set the guide rod and recoil spring into the notch that is just below the barrel like so That back together and I'm just gonna put it in like that then you'll see the overlap so it is the butt of that is sitting in that hole just beneath the barrel you see the overlap and that's where the problem is so the object is to put the this end of the recoil spring into this small hole just below the barrel hole on the receiver, I mean on the slide. Uh, once that is done, I advise that you just put the assist tool all the way through the recoil spring like that. It will meet uh, the guide rod and that will help you slide the slide back onto the guide rod with no problem. Again, remember, these tabs must be down all the way, all the way down. Use an assist tool 
with this. Feed it through the spring. As you can see, that helped to slide back onto the uh, guide rod assembly. The barrel still jumping, but work around that. But that's why this gun is so tricky to reassemble. So, so tricky. Make sure that barrel again notches that you see, still see the plate in the barrel. But make sure that is set six o'clock all the way in. As you can see now, it's set correctly. And then once you put pressure back and then down, it will come into place. So again, uh, this is almost almost done you just got the slide back again a few tips to go back over using the guide assist tool uh, on the recoil spring just to help you get the slide back on um, keeping the tabs down these tabs can ruin your life or ruin your day at least um, if you're trying to put this back together they, they would see how easily they jump back up so be aware of those and uh, the buckling of the spring again just use the tool to help the slide get back on there um, those are some tips that have really really helped me take this gun apart and put it back together it's not easy and you definitely have to do it a couple of times I haven't done it a lot um, so I'm gonna definitely have to practice more myself I will show that to you but we're not done so from this point uh, again we're gonna go back over this sleeve again remember the notch there's only one end with a notch that notch is gonna sit inside the gun at six o'clock so just like so so just over the barrel inside the slot at six o'clock and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the slide back make sure that barrel stays in place so we're gonna pull the slide back lock it up make sure that barrel's in place and again you can use your finger to help keep that barrel in place um, sleeve over you can tell if you turn it if you put it in at a different uh, angle and then you turn it you'll you hear that click you'll get to that six you'll know when it sits in the correct place from that point uh, you're going to use this to screw it back on and that will keep the sleeve the barrel and everything in its magical happy place once that is tight you do want it tight but not overly tight uh, again you're going to need a tool to take this down so you're going to want it tight again i used some needle nose pliers to take it down before they do make weapons that will not uh, tarnish the weapon which i do recommend you get a better tool or at least modify um, your tool to make it weapon friendly but that will be necessary probably for the next take down other than that you're just gonna hit cover uh, these screws um, unless you're gonna put a, a suppressor on there so we just cover that back up and then it is reassembled back the way that it was again mag in Walther P22 reassembled, disassembled, not easy, but done. 
um, any tips, critiques, uh, that that wasn't easy for me. So uh, again, I'll, I'll take any criticism I can get. Uh, please let me know what you think. If you have an easy way to get it done, I'm, I'm all ears. Uh, but this gun is difficult, or at least not easy, I will say. Again, Walther P22, Tactical Rock and Roller uh, at gmail.com. That's Tactical R-O-C-K-N-R-O-L-L-A. Uh, please let me know.